I'm leaving Harper's Ferry. Had like four zeros there. A Nero and two zeros with some of my hiking buddies. And then a friend of mine came to visit. So it's two more zeros. I don't even, I have no concept of time, concept of time anymore. Stopped at the ATC on my way out. And they're like up to number 600 and something northbound. And I was 510 a few days ago when I got in. On the towpath here by the Potomac River. Weather's not so great, but it's cool and breezy. I feel kind of weird being out here again. Like four whole days of like being in a house, a fancy bed and breakfast, beer, sleeping in, in a bed. <laughs> and then apparently like all of Maryland is mostly flat and like quite a bit of Southern Pennsylvania. So like if you're gonna take a long break and don't wanna feel like a total piece of crap when you get back on the trail, Harper's Ferry is the expensive but nice place to do it. Here's some sweet peas. Uh, I will say, the trekking poles feel good in the hand again. Maybe because it's just flat. I don't know. I haven't even started sweating yet. Oh, God. Look at it. Look how flat it is. <laughs> you know, two days ago, when my friends left to get back on the trail from Harper's, we were joking about how we had like two or three days of just perfect blue skies, amazing weather. And literally, as I put the key from the, the Airbnb back into the lockbox, it started to rain. We were joking how it wouldn't be the AT without rain. Went up to the uh, ATC, hung out for a bit, and then I walked him back to the trail, cracking jokes like a jerk the whole time about the rain. And uh, then we had like two more days of pretty decent weather. And now I am one mile back on the trail and it's begun to rain. <laughs> It looks like it may be raining for some time. Awesome. I just say so far, Maine's okay in my book. It's like fairly flat. Lots of little like ups and downs. Every once in a while like a big one. Just big enough to like make you huff and puff a little bit, keep you honest. But there's all sorts of like world or uh, civil war history and monuments, like this guy. Obviously, we're going in the tunnel. Oh, yeah. Just to give you honest, stuff and above it. That's pretty cool. So yeah, lots of cool historical monuments and just like informational, you know, plaques or whatever to read. Lots of old, like, ruins of stone built, old stone buildings and stuff, which I'm always a sucker for. And it really breaks up the monotony of, like, you know, back in Georgia, just the up and down, same woods, you know, everywhere, really. But yeah, it's like a nice change of pace. Take a break, read for a few minutes, check out some old historic buildings and such, and then back in the woods. The nice trailed woods. Half of them are like gravel paths or like old logging roads and stuff instead of, I mean there's a fair amount of rocks. Can't win them all. But even uh, even the wildlife is friendly. I was walking up earlier and there was like two little baby deer just chilling out. I got close to one of them and he walked behind a tree and then kind of like stuck his head out. He just stared at me, wagged his little tail. Yeah. I suppose this is a pretty good spot for lunch. Okay, so maybe I jump the gun a little bit and like the last 20 miles of Maryland have a little bit of elevation gain to them and rocks, all the rocks. So many rocks. But I guess you're just, you know, slowly preparing yourself for like the crap storm that Northern Pennsylvania is supposed to be. But hey, at least we're going downhill. So it's like boulder hopping instead of a boulder scramble. 
That's called staying positive.